Hello, my name is Amanda Ziegelman. I am a Samvia ambassador, and I'm currently obsessed with cutting with a razor. So what happens when you have a guest come in and their fringe is grown out, maybe it's an old mullet and it needs a little refresh. Not necessarily a full haircut, but what we wanna do is re-carve a fringe. So here's what we're gonna do first, get the hair wet, because with razor we wanna cut it wet, make sure it's consistently wet. What we wanna do is find the appropriate place of where the hair is gonna naturally fall. So with the fringe, really, really crucial step here. Find the high point of the head. So here it is. And when your comb starts to rock forward and where it releases, that's a really good and clear indication that that's how much fringe you can choose to use and you won't have any problems. Now with shags and mullets, it's really important to teach your guests to push it forward. Uh, when these types of looks get long, they start to go off to the side and then it's a whole different vibe. Not what we're going for. We want it to be cool. So I have saturated the hair with water. It's very, very wet. I've combed through and found the areas that we want to fall forward. And we're gonna be using our Sambia razor today. So I love it because it swivels and you can just get in there and slide. Always use a fresh razor on your guest when you're razor cutting. Let's first determine where we want that shortest piece to be visually. Tension, tension, tension. Now, going in with a razor, I am going to carve my first piece. Ah, that feels good, doesn't it? Now let's gather the hair and carve outward. Continuing to use a lot of tension and use strokes on a zigzag. This is really artistic. You should be mindful of what you're exposing as you're carving. Push and comb, push and comb, push and comb, and sculpt. Cute. This side is really opening up the face. You can see the difference here. Let's go on the other side and do the same thing. Notice I'm holding the razor like a pen. This makes it really easy to get into that fringe area and carve away enough negative space so that it will move and bend completely. Now, if the hair starts to dry, which it very may well dry at this point, resaturate so you get good control and good consistency as you're carving this custom fringe moment. Tension and stroke. Always check in and look at your guests in the mirror. Make sure the hair is doing what you want it to do. Use your hands to sculpt, to put your creativity and your signature flair on this style. This is your art. Bend and pinch. Use your favorite sea salt spray when you're getting ready to style. Rub it in your hands like lotion. Move and work all that hair back as you're activating the product into the hair. I like something lightweight that's really salty to get that natural texture to pop and show its true potential. Notice I started at the hairline and I'm working my way forward here, giving it a good crinkle, a good like crunch. I don't wanna say scrunch, but we'll call it a crinkle. Using fingers to pinch and bend and really create a beautiful hair shape. Hey, thank you all so much for watching this mullet fringe cutting video. If you would like to see more stuff like this, please catch me on Instagram or TikTok at Manda Ziegelman. All right, see y'all soon.